Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the concept of storage classes in C language. Storage classes in C are used to determine the lifetime, visibility, memory location, and initial value of a variable. There are four storage classes in C language: auto, automatic storage class, static storage class. External, external storage class and register storage class. First one is auto automatic storage class or auto variables. Auto variables having a local scope. All the variables declared in function are auto by default. We can declare same variables in different functions as well. Automatic variables are allocated memory automatically at runtime. The visibility of the automatic variables is limited to the block in which they are defined. The scope of automatic variable is limited to the block in which they are defined. Automatic variables are initialized to garbage value by default. The memory assigned to automatic variable gets freed upon. Exiting from the block, the keyword used for defining automatic variable is auto keyword, and every local variable is automatic in C by default. The syntax for declaring auto storage classes: auto is a keyword, data type, then variable name, or we can write data type and variable name. Let's see the example of auto storage class. Void is a return type and display is the name of the function. This is a function declaration, and inside the main function we have declared one automatic variable and value ten is assigned to it. And with the help of printer function, display the value of a. Value of a is ten. Then call the function. When this function call, control transfer to the function definition. Inside the function definition, same variable is declared and assign value twenty to it. And with the help of printer function, display the value of a. Value of a is twenty. The scope of automatic variable is local. Then after that, control back to the main function. The value of a is ten. The scope of automatic variable is local. We can say every local variable is automatic in C by default. Second one is static storage class, static variables. The variable defined as static specifier can hold their value between the multiple function calls. Static local variables are visible only to the function or the block in which they are defined. A same static variable can be declared many times. But can be assigned at only one time. The default initial value of static variable is zero. In case of automatic variable, default value is garbage value. The visibility of the static global variable is limited to the file in which it has declared. The keyword used to define static variable is static keyword. The syntax for declaring static storage classes: static is a keyword, then data type, then name of the variable. Static in a a is a static variable. Static variable cannot be accessed outside the function. If not initialize static variable having zero as the initial value. Now the initial value of a is zero. Let's see the example of static storage class. Function declaration is there, and inside the main function, call the function. When this function call, control transfer to the definition of the function. Static int a is equal to one. Value of a is one. 
and then with the help of printer function display the value of a value of a is 1 a plus plus a become 2 and control transfer to the main function again function call the value of a is 2 a plus plus control back to the main function again function call control transfer to the function definition and value of a is 3 the static variables hold their value between multiple function calls next is external external storage class external variables The external storage class is used to tell the compiler that the variable defined as extern is declared with an external linkage elsewhere in the program. External variable having a global scope, they are declared outside all the functions. An external keyword is optional, there is no need to write it. The scope of external variable is the entire program. If not initialized, external variable is assigned a zero value. The value is not lost after the execution of the function. One function can assign value and another can display the value. The syntax for external storage class is extern is a keyword, data type, then variable name. Extern float y. Y is the external variable. Let's see the example. Function declaration is there. Int a is equal to 10. This is a global variable. Then inside the main function, printf a. Value of a is 10. 10 is to be printed onto the screen. Then increment function call. When this function call control transfer to the definition of increment function, a become 20. After that, control back to the main function, then display function call. When this function call, control transfer to the definition of display function and display function display the value of a. Value of a is 20. Next is register storage class, register variables. Register variables having a local scope has automatic variable. They are declared within motherboards register memory all the arithmetic and logical operations are carried out within these registers these variables are stored in registers if registers are not available values are stored in main memory and a register variable work faster than other kind of variable because register memory is faster than main memory in this case, we cannot dereference the register variable. That is, we cannot use ampersand operator for the register variable. The access time of a register variable is much faster than automatic variable. The initial default value of the register local variable is zero. And with the help of a register keyword, we can declare register variables register is a keyword then data type then name of the variable we can store pointer into the registers that is a register can store the address of a variable let's see the example inside the main function we have declared register variable and value 10 is assigned to a variable a and then with printer function display the value of a value of a is 10 now in this case no value is assigned to a register variable a then what will be the output output is 0 the initial default value of the register local variable is 0 let's see the example of automatic storage class the automatic storage class is the default storage class for all local variables. The lifetime of auto variable is restricted within the body. That's why the number of times we are calling the function that many times it will be created again and again. 
let's see the output inside the main function call the abc function then this function call control transfer to the definition of abc function and inside the definition of abc function we have declared a variable a and value 5 is assigned to it a is a automatic variable the scope of automatic variable is local only plus plus a increase the value of a by 1 a becomes 6 control back to the main function again abc function call control transfer to the definition of abc function value of a is 5 plus plus a a become 6 control back to the main function again abc function call control transfer to the definition of abc function plus plus a a become 6 let's see the example of static storage class static variables are declared with the static keyword static variable lifetime is throughout the program runtime static variable declared inside the function cannot be assessed outside the function in this code the value of a static variable is initialized to the value 2 if the static variable is not initialized in the program, then by default the initial value will be assigned to 0. Static variable is local to function in which it is defined. And once the function is called, the value will be incremented by 1. That is the initial value 2 plus 1, that is 3, and print the value 3. Once the control is out of the function, the memory will not be deallocated. Value 3 is stored. In the next function call, the value 3 will be incremented by 1 and print the new value that is 4. And if the variable were not declared static, then for both the function call, the sum value would be the same. That is, sum is equal to 3 for both the function call. If we remove the static keyword, then output is sum is equal to 3 for the both function call.